this match, anything goes! Wow! Whoa, if you're just tuning in, the best of five series has just been tied up. Right before we went to commercial, our owner Dario Cueto demanded the fifth and final match. Read the ball! And with those words, this fight continues, but it's anything goes, and man, if you're a Cage fan, this does not look good. If you're a Tejano fan, or even a Tejano follower, you know anything about him, anything goes just right up his alley, baby. Fight to the death, bite, kick, punch, steal, hit with a chair, hit with a beer bottle, kick him in the groin. I like this. Yeah, you have educated us to Tejano, and perhaps this is what Tejano needed. He needed to see blood. He needed to know that there were no rules, no limits. No doubt about it, man. Not only did he put blood in his mouth, put it on his chest, war paint. This is what Tejano, you got to remember, man, his father was an innovator. Late 80s, early 90s, in the first type of hardcore matches in Japan, this kid saw this coming out of the womb. You know what I'm saying? all the different ways you can hurt someone, and then just feast your eyes on the screen. Oh, Cage oh, blocks oh. that kick, and now the machine face a crimson mask, and yet still, the machine tries to find a way. I'm all about blood, man. I'm all about violence. I dig it so much. You know, Cage, yeah, okay, come on, baby. Come back, get that blood, get fired up. But Tejano, you gotta remember, man, he's been a world champion more than once. He right. digs this kind of stuff. Well, Cage has willed himself to his feet with the assistance of that very same turnbuckle that busted Cage's head open. Oh, but yet the machine shows fight. He is a prideful man. We know that about Cage. We know that he has an ego. We know he's a destroyer. Is blood actually gonna provoke him? This has kind of done something to Takata. Well, this is the test for me. What is the machine, what is Cage made of? Now that he has been busted open, now that a screw has come off or a washer has come loose, how well made is this machine? Well, 290 pounds, 3% body fat. Uh, he's pretty goddamn good. Cover here, ultimate opportunity. Oh. Not yet. As you can see, the mat blood stained. Did you like the Ronnie the limo driver? Oh. Cage is really busted open. Yeah, Cage really hasn't gotten really anything going since his head collided with the steel turnbuckle. He is dripping blood. Oh, with every beat of his heart, blood will come out. Tejano going for that power bomb, which he used to even the series. Cage still strong enough, though, to roll out. And that might be Cage's best friend right there. There is the magic of Lucha Libre and Lucha Underground, where you can see two monsters, super heavyweights, muscular and big, move like the little guys. Lucha Libre is magic, man. Athleticism, 100%, only here in the temple in Boyle Heights, Here we go, man. a lot of distance between the two. Who's gonna strike first? Cage, whoa! Tejano charged and Cage moved out of the way. And now the machine needs to throw caution to the wind, needs to sacrifice everything. This is anything goes for Dario Cueto's ultimate opportunity. Those are two big guys falling from a big height, hitting a hard floor, man. And if you look at the pictures on your screen, you don't need me to tell you how important Dario's opportunities are. Wow. What Cage is willing to go through, what Tejano is willing to go through. I think I think Cage is firing up, man. Careful, they're approaching oh. Dario Cueto's office. That office window has been... A uh, staple in Lucha Underground's history, and I'm sure Dario in that office is loving all of this. Watching. I think he just gone through that window. And I, if I remember correctly, it had very little effect on the machine. And now. He's got blood in his mouth. Like any great white shark, the only thing that's gonna do is make you hungrier to feed, my friend. Look, remember, it's anything goes. So Cage elects to take the fight amongst the believers. And if you come to Boyle Heights, uh -oh. remember, uh -oh. anything goes. Uh -oh. <laughs> like you're back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They are, they have to hold the weight of 
of almost 100 people that sit on those bleachers each and every week. Tejano, with a thud, just bounced off of those bleachers. Yo, amo lucha libre. What the ladies' t-shirt says is correct. And now Cage, fireman's carry. Tejano slips out. And brother, by the looks of things, you know, everybody is pushing the weight limit sitting on the... So yeah, the benches are already oh. kind of tested, you know what I'm saying? And having big guys sign, sealed and delivered in, bada bing! Spine on the pine. And now the machine looks for reprieve. This is like, wow, man. Is Cage a machine or is he the Tin Man? We will find out. Tejano, who has the heart of a lion, stalking now. Dude, it's kind of like a war machine, like a tank. Yes, it is awesome. It can get hit by missiles and bullets, but it keeps going. It was built for war. It cages right here. No disqualifications, no count out. Wow. Violence is encouraged. Oh! I am right here in front of Cage, and his head is split the hell wide open. And Tejano oh, is not giving any. Oh! And again, this has become so personal. Tejano reminding Vamp to mind his business. Tejano better mind his business. Oh, wow. Wow. Damn, dog. You got to see the hole in Cage's head. Busted open, Matt. It's gotta be the length of a quarter, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And deep. And now, these two fighters make their way into the bowels of the temple. All these different corridors and conduits that the fighters and the fans can travel through now become paths of war, paths of rage. This is like a tank battle in World War II, something that you should know about. You know, taking shots, going through the village, blowing down houses, pushing people out of the way, shot after shot. Who's gonna get the lucky one in? And Vamp, yeah. Tejano is staying close to Cage, and Tejano is almost recuperating, getting his breath. With every shot, Cage loses more blood, more breath, the lactic acid builds up, the exhaustion sets in. Yeah, well, when you get your head slammed on a chair six times and you're busted open, yeah, that'll do it to you. And now the Believers. Big mistake. Go what? for the victory. Don't leave Cage the opportunity to come back like he just did, and he cleans your clock, son. To your point, Cage is a world-class athlete, a world-class luchador. Give him a second of reprieve, and he's back on the offense. He's more than that. He's a world-class machine indestructible, made and born and bred in the auto department of the Lucha Underground Temple, Matt. There you see that great shot, gives you perspective. You gotta be kidding me. The Luchadors are you high above the floor. No way. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. 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 Man, anytime they fall, they can pop an ankle. We saw it in the Angelico match. You can pop a joint, twist a knee. Still, when you're 300 pounds and you fall from six or seven feet. Whoa! Wow. Oh, my God. What is it? Mass times force? Now, this is not Falls Count anywhere. As you see, Rick Knox, his only duty really is to check if their hearts are still beating. And once they get in the ring, he'll count to three. Just look at the picture. Look at the will of men. What they will go through for glory, for honor. It is indeed. Yeah. It is indeed. This is awesome. Now the carnage comes our way. Now, Tejano. Bowling for dollars. <laughs> oh, and that's a million dollar shot of Cage just taking out the whole three rows. Dude, he just wiped out everything. He just moved like half the crowd. Cage literally stopped the brunt of that blow with his head. Tejano has such an eerie calm in his eyes. To your point, like he's been in these I told before. you, man, he's grown. He hasn't been only been in it. He's kind of oh. been in it since day one, since it's Look inception. Rick Knox. Wow. You said that the hole in Cage's head was the size of a quarter. Yep. Now? The size of a silver yeah, dollar? I think you can make a dollar fifty easily. Well, let's go to Canada, La uh, Tooney. <laughs> That's not worth anything. Uh, it's worth a <laughs> hole in the head. And now that sandpaper snake, that has been a, a theme in this rivalry. 
Oh, boy. It's what Cage used. It's what Tejano used to cause Cage the Battle of the Bulls tournament. Uh. It's what Cage has used to inflict damage upon Tejano. Oh, boy. Stan Hansen put Ricky Martel out of the business for a long, long time. Was shot with a rope like that to the lower back. I'm going back way, way back. AWA days. Yep. Tejano is feeding off that. I'm telling you, Matt. The look of concern in the eyes of the believers. Cover here. Is this it? No! That was extremely crazily close. The people are on the edge of their seats. People are actually biting their nails on yes. this one. And those close to Cage on a personal level have to have some sort of pride in Cage, kicking out, blood streaming down his face, his arms hanging limp at his sides, sent into the ropes. Cage now. Oh, another spine buster, this time on, on a, a steel, steel chair. chair. Oh my god, brother, but the drums Look of war. That. Maybe they have kickstarted this machine. Maybe the engine inside his head. Yes. No. Oh! Cage, perhaps out of desperation, perhaps out of instinct, or perhaps that's the way the machine is programmed. Because here we go. Cage is up. Oh! Both men down. One on his back, one on his front. Only one man can claim Dario Cueto's ultimate opportunity. One man will shed his blood, his sweat, and perhaps his career to be called the winner of this now classic best of five series cover to no! We're into extra innings. We're into overtime. Oh, man. Sudden death. These are the nights we've become accustomed to. We almost take them for granted here in the temple. But ladies and gentlemen, this is something special. Two men fighting oh. with everything they have. Discus Larry oh, no, 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 no. Wow. Face, this is a submission hold. Think of all the blood Cage has lost. Think of what he's been through. The pressure, the pulling. Bam, does he have this move out of He's got it on so tight, there is absolutely no. for the ropes if he gets oh, to the rope. Rolled over. Rolls up, shoulders down, no! Oh. That was a great counter. Cage knew he didn't have the strength to get oh to the rope, God, so he used a different option. He rolled him up on his back, and wow. this thing goes. Like you said, a win is a win. Holy now, God, he had it on so tight. That's Cage's right arm, so Ooh. we have to watch what the damage was done as this match progresses. Taking away one of those weapons from Cage is huge. We've never seen anybody counter that Here close line. Power bomb. This is what Tejano used. Cage has fight with that injured arm. The discus claws line. Oh, wow. God. Sam, I'm tripping sweat. I'm out of my mind. I'm watching you. I'm watching the fans. I'm going crazy. I don't know which way to go here. The fans are divided. The fans are quiet. The fans are it's crazy. The heart of these two fighters. Whatever happens, a oh, tip of the cap. Boy. Thank you, boys, for an this. An eye for an eye. An eye for an eye. Cage. And now that adrenaline, that hatred, may be the only thing that's keeping this machine firing, perhaps on only one cylinder. Oh, man, he said he ain't getting up from this. Oh, no, no, no! Is this it? One, two, three. Wow. Wow. Here's your winner. They call him Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, years from now, we will look back on this. This, my friends, was a classic best of five series. It got cooking in matches four and five. And again, just, I mean, there you have it. Cage wins the ultimate opportunity. But what is it? That is the question. What were these two fighting for? What were these two risking life, limb, and career for? I'm mad at somebody say, who cares? We just seen something that we will probably never see again from these two. This is what Lucha Libre is all about. Okay, Wait. enough, enough. Congratulations, Cage. You have won my ultimate opportunity. And it's a prize so great, so powerful, that, um, I'd rather not give it to you in front of the believers.
Oh, that's Dario for you. They're, they're too weak-minded to understand it. Must be big. So please, come into my office where you will be awarded. Come on. Now, do you trust Dario? Come on! After a hellacious war, Cage earns the ultimate opportunity which Dario evidently wants to present to Cage in his office.